on to the last one. This is another one that was sent to us from uh, Kenneth. Shout out to Kenneth, man. He be on Clubhouse with us a lot. Shut up. Okay, he said, I asked the girl this question from Twitter, and uh, and it got into a real back and forth. So I thought y'all might have some fun with it. By the end of this conversation, I realized she has higher expectations for how others will treat her than she even has the ability to treat herself. Tried to dig deeper, but she got real defensive. Shocker. Uh, <laughs> about it talking about she knows her worth, which I'm in no way against, but seems ridiculous to expect something from others that you couldn't do. Anyway, love the pod. Y'all are an inspiration for my own pod and business development, along with life advice that y'all constantly dole out. So the tweet says this. Can y'all afford to take a dude on the same kind of date mm-hmm. that y'all be requesting? Men take y'all on? <clears throat> Mm. Y'all got y'all got in a heated debate over that. Yeah, because yeah. essentially she probably can't afford to take it, or she feel like she shouldn't be taking a man on. I shouldn't be taking a man. That the man should be courting her. I guess like she feel like she shouldn't be taking a man on no dates during the courting process. But nobody said that she had to take a man on a date. He just asked, "Can you afford that?" That's it. Same meal. And like women would say, "Why does that matter?" Yep. Okay, now she's saying, "Why does that? Oh, why does that matter?" You know what the argument was. I mean, we didn't we didn't had it a million times on Twitter. It's like, why does that matter? Like, you're you're the man. You're supposed to be courting me. If you broke, just say that. Right there, you go. Or it's or it's not they trying to be treated like women, and they quick yeah. to throw some type of insult. They men, try. Yeah, men want to be bad bitches so bad. Yeah. No, how about we just want some people that like us? I mean, it's a reciprocity. Lauren Hill said it best. If um, I ask a girl to go out, if I, you, you know, I'm, I'm asking a girl on a date and she start naming off places <laughs> out to the blue and I ain't even ask her. Said, hey, lady, you want to go on a date? Let's go to the Astros. And she'd be like, nah, I want to go here to, uh, what's old boy? No boo. <laughs> no boo. <laughs> I don't want to go to Salt Bay. Place. What? <laughs> no, I said, do you want to go here? Ah, nah, that's, that's, that's not for me. Okay, cool. We ain't going there. We ain't talking. Yep. Mm. I had somebody hop in my DM and tell me I was not gonna take him somewhere. I'm like, damn, bitch, you hopped in my DM. You should be taking me somewhere. You so, that bold. So are y'all saying that these queens' worth <laughs> is like what? No, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I'm trying to see how to Don't word, try to this, word this shit. Don't say bad. queens. Don't ah, use the word queens. Don't, say this shit in the bad don't use the word queens. Y'all trying to say that these goddesses living situations should affect the worth that they have for themselves when they look in the mirror. Is that what y'all saying? No, what I'm saying is don't request a high amount of dollar figures out of me to do something for you. And if I say no, call me broke. Because then we have a problem. But I mean, essentially, you are broke if you can't take it out. No, I'm not broke. If if I can't afford a Bentley, does that mean I'm broke? <laughs> does that mean I'm broke? Essentially. Because <laughs> broke is relative to her standards. She used you to right. niggas that can afford the you Bentley. Know what you know what? You're right. In that case, we just won't be talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just being it. I'm just keeping it real. She said, can you make 150? But she used to a nigga to make 150 million. It don't matter that she make 30. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the man. In the court and process, you want me? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, um, to answer the question, I think that it, it speaks to a lot of the delusion that these women have, bro. A lot of them delusional. For one, you don't look like a no boo oh. date. Let's just put that out. Okay, there. now if we're saying she don't look like one too, all right, yeah, you. Nah, but but look like. like so what you saying looks? So looks, yeah. <laughs> so you say you have to look a certain way to get in the no boo? That's correct. <laughs> and it's exactly what I'm saying. Wow. wow. If your living situation. That's a looks requirement, huh? Right. But no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The no, looks no, matter. No, no, no. no. Oh, I ain't, I ain't about to backpedal. Y'all know me better than that. What I'm saying is this. If you're broke, your surroundings are broke. Mm-hmm. You don't have your own nothing. You have to look. A certain way That's true For it to make sense Is what I'm saying That's true So yes. you're saying that Her beauty doesn't matter For her getting the, the no boo It's just how Cause what we're saying Is so if she it, looks good Cause we know a lot of women That look good They stay in Four, four, broke. four to an apartment mm-hmm. Right They broke But they look extravagantly mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. You know Beauty Tens Nines You know mm-hmm. 
you saying <laughs> they can't get into Nobu? No, no. I'm, it's, I'm it's saying either, that that those women should get into Nobu. Okay, you either you okay, either can afford the, it, you either can afford it with your wallet or afford it with your looks. Bingo. Oh, uh, okay. So template plan. What about the ones that's built like a planet, smoke Newports, but make one hundred fifty thousand? <laughs> they could eat that. You could take yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> Have a girl's date <laughs> Yeah sis Me and Trash anyway right Wow No He didn't say You can take yourself there you Take yourself there Your body ain't going Your body Your choice You can't, you can't afford two people <laughs> Supposed to be me and you Not me You and you <laughs> that's, real. that's real though That's real But uh, You know on a, on a serious note though Man I think I think people Demands need to match What they can provide It's simple Yes Yes I do believe that It's simple as that You know what I'm saying And and, and that's with men too Men the same way bro Like if if you can't really afford To take her to that Fancy restaurant Stay in your lane Another Don't go thing. broke. Stop, stop leading with your wallet too. Yep. Oh, oh, go ahead. oh my god. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my, like, <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start with that. See, it's y'all, just, y'all, but y'all call me crazy for mm, take going on two hundred dollar dates, but that's what I normally do for myself. That's but the Look, women that you take are don't deserve a two hundred dollar. You know what I'm saying? And again, that's that's your lifestyle. That's what you are accustomed to doing. Some of these niggas not because oh, they're doing okay, it, okay, okay. and they doing it to impress them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That two hundred dollars, nigga, they they needed that for the next week. They swiping on the credit card, the credit card. Right? She's not even credit card. They got two hundred five, and they going <laughs> on a two hundred dollar date. <laughs> you know? And you wonder why you ain't tipping? He ain't rude. He just can't do it. But you ain't though. It's just not enough on the card. <laughs> like, <laughs> if this bitch order one more thing, <laughs> it's over. <so funny. laughs> We gonna be watching this is together in this motherfucker. You hear me? But yeah, so again, you know what's most important. The moral of this story is uh, stay in your lane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to uh, Tyler Craig. He used to say that on Comic View all the time. Uh, moral of this story: stay in your lane. Don't try to go above and beyond to try to impress nobody. And ladies, you know how you look. You know what money you make. You know what league that you should be shooting in. No, they don't. Well then your homegirls need to stop lying to you and tell you what league that you shooting in. And if you not no boo, you not shooting in the no boo league, don't be demanding no boo. Your lifestyle, your circumstances don't match that. Your lifestyle circumstances is for chilies. <laughs> Go to chilies. <laughs> oh, some real shit though. I think this is why women need male friends. Not saying that we make good friends, but they need male friends. They're gonna try truth. to hit in ooh. They are. But we just said we said men and women can't be friends. But they need to acquaintances. They at least need to have a board, like a council board. <laughs> <laughs> what is the? How does that work? You know what break, I'm saying? Break that what? down, fam. Like us. Like it should be like in in each woman's life, they need four guys like us. Somebody's gonna be brutally honest with you. Somebody that's a, you know, what I'm saying like may tell you what you want to hear in a nice way, but still get the point across. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, I just feel like they need different perspectives and not hearing it from their friends because their right. friends be lying to them a lot. But how many how many men want to listen to? We don't a girl that they nine times out of ten want to hit. Mm. Talk about another man. That's true. And you sitting here, you sitting there cock blocking because normally that's what normally happens. You always cock blocking. That's why I don't like girls telling me what's going on with another guy because I'm be like, hey, I'm not that man. I'm True. not gonna tell you shit that you should do. That what I'm not gonna tell you what I think he's doing. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel like I'm cock blocking you. I'm, I'm right. I'm, I'm hating on that man somehow, some way. Like, hey man, you gonna do what you want to do? You already know the signs. But you they need. To, but I feel like they need to hear it. Yeah, they do. But hey, hey, hey! Before we go any further, there's a clip that we need to play. I think y'all jumped ahead of where we was going. Oh, so okay. Sorry about that. Um, recently there was a clip that went viral on the timeline in regards to Steve Harvey says something that we say on this part all the time. Just going to play it. I'm going to get you guys' responses. The rare time. And the men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? <laughs> well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. He <laughs> said, come on. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, Okay, okay. Let's get rid of this mess <laughs> right here. Why. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There's some guy somewhere saying, "Yeah, I'm. We're friends. 
No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're guys. Most men think this way? 99.9% uh, <laughs> .9 of us think that way. Pun intended. He's going to slide in that crack. What y'all think about what that man just said? I man. think it's the truth. We've been saying it the whole time. I think I ain't lying. You have acquaintances, <laughs> but there is not. I don't, I don't believe in that best friend shit. That I mean, there's rare occasions that yes, it possibly could be your best friend. Mm -hmm. But still, in that instance, I think if the situation was to happen, it would go down like that. You give that man an opportunity, <clears throat> he gonna do it. And it's same. It could be the same way for women. True. If the woman is less attractive than that man, knowing that man on a higher standard, you know, and he just sees you like, hey, you, you know, you, you the homie. I don't want to put you down like that because I grew up with you. You know, so. We cool, but the instant he might give you a little leeway, guess what she gonna do? We grew up best friends. I love this man so much. I've been wanting to tell you this the whole time. She ain't gonna turn that man down. The same way for men, they ain't gonna turn that down. It's we didn't we didn't get attracted to you because of your conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't walk over to you and say, "Oh man, I like the way you talk." <laughs> I just I just want to hear you talk about your life stories and that's it. I don't find you physically attractive. I don't want to date you. I don't want to do none of that. No. She looked over there and said, "Damn, you got an ass. Damn, you look good." And then you put him in the friend zone, and now he's just like, "Well, I'll be that friend." <laughs> after you hit, I'll, I'll be that friend. Can you be friends after you hit? You are acquaintances. <laughs> That's all you are acquaintances. That's it. In my eyes. But other people, you know, some people have best friends. Oh. What about this female friend dynamic? It's Is it bad. possible? I Anything would've... is possible. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Is it is it likely? <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> He trying to, he trying to, he got political ties. He can't miss <laughs> Okay. Is it likely? No. <laughs> it's not likely. Because a lot of times, like you said, like men going to have ulterior motives at the end of the day. Like, yeah, you can, we can be cool and I'm going to keep you, especially when you, if you put somebody in the friend zone, they're going to keep you right there like you said. Mm -hmm. And then the moment you slip up, have some vulnerability, you broke up with your boyfriend, last two dudes, treated you trash, you see me, I'm still working hard, it looked like I'm a good dude, you know what I'm saying, now you didn't lean on my shoulder this one day, I caught you slipping, and then you find out like, he <laughs> liked the rest of them, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, they, they be just waiting in the cut, be patient, and they gonna do it, especially if they feeling you, you attractive, like, I think not enough women have had enough attractive men around them. Like, mm. a, like a lot. Like if I think if the roles were flipped, I think women would lose their shit. Because women already can't control that purr. <laughs> <laughs> that big purr. Not big, the purr, big that purr. big purr. So I don't Yeah. Okay, give me a give me a give me a percentage. There's no way. Give me give me a percentage that a man Strictly just want to be her friend. Give me a percentage. Twenty-seven percent. <laughs> Damn it! I wouldn't even put it that fucking high. I said like ten. <laughs> <laughs> Is the man attractive? Is the woman attractive? Woman's attractive. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's just, hey, that's real. Uh, for my stance, y'all know what my stance Shit. is on this. I don't believe in that. I've tried it multiple times, and every time, somebody always wanted to take it too far. It's just what it is. It like, seems like you get me. <laughs> you understand me. Like we connect on a different type of look. Like your vibe. Like you just have a good vibe about. It's like the energy when we're together. Shout out to all of the every uh, time. I just, you know what I mean? So, again, like, people be saying that I just be saying this out of, you know, or, like, I be coming up with it from imagination. It's experience. 
experience with me. It's experience with my guys. It's experience with every situation I've seen. Like the only way that that friend thing happens is if one of them is ugly. That's just what it is. But if you got like two attractive people, or you got one super attractive person, somebody kind of attractive, whatever. But it's like they're attractive. If you spend enough time around somebody, somebody's gonna fall. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is because friendship is. Like y'all are bonding on a different type of level, so them being attractive just adds to that. And so I, yeah, I don't even think looks even play. Even if the person is ugly, honestly, too. Like if y'all just get that emotional bond between each other, like mm-hmm. you know, I always woman, woman always want to say, "I married my best friend," right? But you calling this man your best friend, so now what I'm supposed to think, right? Mm-hmm. You trying to marry your best friend, right? The only way I think it works if the opposite party is gay, right? And the chances go up to sixty <clears> percent. <throat> Because people like to start experiment. Experiment. <laughs> so, you know, they start to get to dance. They get drunk, start dancing. All of a sudden, they went from gay to dog, <laughs> dog. Pounding you out. Pounding you out. Dog. Giving you that pressure. Now it's like, wow. Yeah. So I mean, I believe in like again, it's about how you define friendship too. I think people throw that word around way too loosely. Like how I see a friend, like we talking every day or like every other day, like very very frequently mm-hmm. about deep stuff, not. You know, shallow. Hey, man, we go to the club like deep stuff, like shallow. Pardon me, aspirations and dreams, and you know things that I want to accomplish in my life, and women that I've talked to, and men that you didn't talk to. Like it's real deep, like bonding conversation. That's what a friend is. I don't feel like if you if I feel like most people are not that. Most people are just cool. Mm-hmm. Like when we around each other, we see each other. Hey, what's up, hug? I stand the third. You may chop it up once every month. You know, once every other month, something like or whenever. Every blue moon, y'all chop it up. You see them out. It's love. How you doing? Boom. Hey, buy him a drink. Keep it pushing. But that's not friendship to me. Mm-hmm. That's we cool. We are acquaintances. It's like you said. But you know, again, man, if you put two people, especially attractive people, in the same space. Communicating at a high frequency, somebody's gonna fall. Now, what happens after the fall doesn't really matter because the intent there. So once the intent is there, it's no longer friendship. It's a waiting game. And I've said it a million times: men have marine sniper patience when it comes to waiting on that opportunity. He'll he'll talk you through six relationships, but you want to know how much of a friend that he's not. Hit him up about 12, 15 I'm one night. 20. And say, hey, you know, I always was, uh, I, you know, I feel a little weird about this, you know, but I just always wonder how it would be. And I'm just, I ain't had nothing in a while. Could you come over and da, da, da. I guarantee you 99.6% of guys is pulling up and drumming you down. That's just how it's going to go. So as long as that's a possibility, y'all are not friends. Y'all are cool. Y'all are acquaintances. Let's call it what it is. I dare, I dare somebody to do that. If y'all listen right now, try it out. Man, motherfuckers know better. Try bro. it out. They know better. They ain't going to do it. They ain't going to do it. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Steve Harvey, man. That boy ain't say no wrong. Yeah, on that note, man, we're going to wrap this thing on up, man. Y'all boys, shout out to our social medias and things of that nature. Big per. <laughs> <laughs> so well <laughs> underscore fitness all platforms you know what I'm saying TikTok 19,000 followers on TikTok by the way mm. uh, S5 heavy. podcast you know make sure y'all follow them check us out we won't be talking about shit but we talk about shit mm. <laughs> we both said mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KT underscore good rich all platforms uh, that's all I got uh, D Trill AC everywhere. Y'all know what time it is. Twitter, Instagram. Make sure y'all follow the crew season. Shout out to our Patreon members. Yeah. Keep signing up. Shout out. Two dollars. Yeah. Two dollars a month. Yeah. All the Patreon members. Nah, not, not, sure. not sure. All the new Patreon members, too. Shout out to all y'all. Yeah, yeah. we're going to do the annual day, too. Yeah, so y'all can just get that, that $24 payment out the way. Call it a day. $24. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man, keep on supporting. Keep on rocking with us. Uh, shout out to YouTube uh, as well, man. We gave y'all a treat this past week. and we waiting on the response. If they if they say anything, let us know so we can uh, <laughs> chime in and rebuttal. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, and also, man, y'all make sure y'all keep sharing sharing the word and just spread the word, man. Because yeah. you know we we can't grow without y'all. Thanks. So you know what I'm saying. If you know somebody that just want to listen to a podcast, want to laugh, need a little relationship advice, put them, put us on, put us on. Facts, facts. We definitely appreciate y'all. Shout out to Smooth, man. Smooth will be back next week. God damn me. God damn me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs>